Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. What's up, you guys? Happy Thursday, happy February, happy Black History Month. Uh, happy new opportunity to leave old thinking behind and step into some new thinking. Try new things, um, speak to different people, maybe someone new entirely or someone that you haven't spoken to in a long time. Um, but a new month is always like a nice, good time to check in and see how we're doing. And something that's been heavy on my mind in the last couple of days has been the importance of intuition in my life. Intuition, um, if you're not familiar with the concept, is just, hmm, how would you define intuition? Intuition is that quiet, clear voice that speaks to you your truth. I feel it's like, I honestly feel like it's God speaking to you or the universe, however you believe or navigate through the world, but it's like the divine speaking to you, through you. And it's like this quiet, crystal clear voice that like my, I have an aunt who is a preacher and she always likes to say it like that. God speaks to us in a quiet, but very clear voice. Like you hear it. And I feel that intuition is where all great ideas come from. It's where uh, it's creativity's lifeblood. Like you, you don't know that this thing is gonna work, but you feel in your heart, this is the right movement to put in a dance piece. This is the right film to, sh you know, film structure for a film. This, like you just get these urges and these nudges and these little quiet voices like, yes, do this. No, don't do that. That is intuition in a nutshell, and it covers every part of life if you are listening and wanting to hear it. And I find that my life's work has been about listening to that voice. And it's sometimes very easy. Don't eat that junk food because it's gonna, you know, it's gonna break you out. <laughs> or, it's gonna, it's not healthy and you're gonna regret it later. You're gonna get overly, you know, too much sugar in one day or too much fat in one day, whatever. Like some things are very easy. And then there are things that are like, don't do this opportunity. Don't um, deal with this person anymore. So there's like really a humongous range, um, you know, or call this person and apologize. Like. I have that kind of intuition that is extremely loud. <laughs> it's loud and unforgiving and it's very direct and it can even be scary because I'm not that kind of person. I know there are people who can commit wrongs to others and sleep like a baby. I'm not built like that. I'm not saying that I'm better than anyone. I'm, I make, I do make mistakes. I do commit wrongs from time to time because I am human, right? Um, but my loud intuition will, it causes, it, I will break out. If I feel like I've wronged someone, I stress immediately out. Uh, my stomach like turns. I have a hard time sleeping. I have a hard time relaxing. I have a hard time meditating. I have a hard time thinking about um, other things other than the wrong. Or even if I think I haven't done wrong, it it's still festering in me. So even when it's like a perceived wrong or if I feel like I've hurt someone or I've done something to someone, it eats and eats and eats and eats and eats at my skin. Skin at my core, it eats at, it just eats away. And it is until that I feel I have really addressed that person or that wrongdoing that I, I don't, and also almost first, I have to speak to God. I have to have a conversation and be like, look God, I'm sorry. I am sorry. And like God, I believe obviously God knows all. The universe already knows. But I think the universe requires us to acknowledge it with our mouths, with our words, with our hands. So if you have to write it down, if you have to speak it, I have to speak it. 
Um, I speak a lot to myself for this reason. <laughs> I have to, this is how I think. I'm thinking right now. Like I have to verbally say to process. So until I verbally say, if I have wronged X person or any person, I am truly sorry. That was never my intention. I, I truly do apologize. And I hope that, and, and pray for that person. And that is the only way that I can move forward with my day-to-day -day activities. I have to step back and have that conversation with God. And sometimes it's not, it's not cute. You know, it's like sometimes I'm crying. Sometimes I'm really angry. I might be wanting to scream. I might want to throw things. And I feel like intuition does not care. I think intuition is pushing us to be our highest self. And it wants us to be uncomfortable. And it wants us to do things way out of character because it's trying to push us beyond. It's trying to make us be the best version of ourselves, the most fulfilled. And there have been times where I went back and forth, like, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? And then when I finally just shut up and listen to what's in here and what's in my gut, excuse me. Wow, that's funny. I said gut and then I'm like, mm, got a burp. <laughs> when I sit back and I shut up and let those things take over, my life is magical. When I trust and let God do and say what he needs to say, my life is magical. When I fight it, that's when the anxiety and the stress come on. Why am I saying all of this? I'm saying all of this because you may not think of it in this deep way. You may not be thinking of it this way. I just encourage you, if you are thinking anything, any small, quiet thought in the corridors of your mind, of your thinking, I really want to apologize to this person, but your pride is in the way. Listen and just do it. I really want to forgive this person. Just go ahead and do it. Just do it. I really want to start writing or I really want to be a flight attendant or I really want to dye my hair pink. Just do it. If there's a thought, especially a reoccurring thought that you're having, you have to either do the research or just go ahead and do it or both. Like, if you're like, I'm worried, okay, like, for instance, the pink hair idea, oh, is that going to damage my hair? You're not going to find out until you get on Google and start doing your research. Ask a hairstylist, ask a friend that knows something about hair. Until you start to take actions, this thing is going to eat at you. And especially when it comes to other people. If you feel like you've hurt someone or someone has hurt you, if you feel like this person has hurt me, but I don't know... I just won't deal with them or I just don't want to talk to them. No, I feel that intuition, if your intuition is saying, I have to say this to them so that they understand, you need to say it. So that's essentially my whole point of this message is I really want you guys to listen. Not even me. It's not about me. I think I want to share that if you listen to your intuition you will be so amazed at how much more intelligent that is than this brain that we we love to, oh, I have a big brain or I have this IQ or whatever. I know I got these grades or I know all of this stuff about this topic. That's great. Use your brain, but your brain is a tool for you. It doesn't run you. So your intuition is you. Your inner spirit, your inner light, your inner God, that is you. That is that is you. That's your inner child speaking. That is Those are your truest desires. I always wanted to ask that person out. I always wanted to um, be this person's friend. Or this person always makes me feel bad. I don't want to be around them. Those thoughts must be honored. They either need to be honored or, or addressed. So you either need to, if you need to remove yourself from a person or a situation, then do that. Or if you need to speak to a person, do that. But 
I can't emphasize enough how important this is, guys. I just can't. So I don't mean to come at you like, oh, like doom and gloom. It's not doom and gloom because I, I promise, I promise you, the minute I started to listen to my heart, even when it was difficult, my life suddenly had so much clarity. This started me on this journey. This was an intuitive thought. I just felt like I need to say something because I felt people were really starting to lose their minds a little bit. I felt like people were really getting depressed and uh, lost. And I felt like not that I'm Jesus here to save you. I just feel like the things that I hear in my meditations really help me. The things that I pray about and the conversations I have with my loved ones really help me. So I really wanted to help you. So that is it. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next week. Take care.